It started when I was involved in the Father's Rights Movement back in the early 90s, 80s, 90s. In the 90s, it was only, there was no TikTok, there was no Facebook, there was, I think YouTube wasn't online yet. The only thing we had the, was this MySpace, and MySpace was basically like a site where people just trying to find each other, hook up. You couldn't talk about issues like the men's room and what men were facing at that time. See good women right, right here that know what's happening. They're not part of the destroy men culture, destroy the father culture, destroy boys culture. Those forces that want to destroy the family, destroy the father figure, destroy God, well, they can't destroy God. The only thing they could do is try to eliminate, well, they have, like Ten Commandments in the public schools. Talking back in the 60s now, 50s and 60s, where you could see it when the church was a church before all the scandals which they planted. And you realize we're in a spiritual war. Well, we've been in a spiritual war since Eve bit the apple in the Garden of Eden. There's also stories about him, Adam, having another wife, the first wife which is called, it's out there. So this battle's been going on since the beginning of mankind, humankind. Basically, this people disconnect from God. And the book of Enoch provides a lot of clues in the Old Testament and the New Testament also. And also other cultures talk about this dark spirit. They're all the same. To destroy, that's what they are. They're the destroyers of anything good. Going back to when we, we didn't have none of this, none of this, and it was only a handful. And they shut us down. I mean, we had websites back then, but back then the computers were like 1.0, 2.0. The old, twi old timers know what I'm talking about. You didn't have the speed you have like now. This one right here, the no fault divorce. I want to play a little bit. To the right, woke culture erodes the family. And looking back, you can see that this started for them back in 1969 yes. with no fault divorce. Yes. Um, Prior to 1969, when they enacted the laws for no-fault divorce, they first in California by Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Um, no. And he said that it was the worst decision he ever made I in his how life. You could put this on but the prior pause. to that, you had to prove that there was fault in order to get a divorce granted. Like you had to prove that they were cruel to you, that there was adultery or desertion in order to get a divorce. Go back to this video right here. The Destruction of America, 1963. Way before a lot of you, probably 90% of you guys were even born. I mean, I lay out just some. We yeah, had this list. so many. If people were to get this list here back in 1963, it shows their plan. They didn't hide their plan. But back then, we knew through the research team we had back then. I was part of the research team. God for all those are long gone that went to war, never came back. The Persian Gulf, the first one. A lot of them were so, uh, uh, military, basically military veterans, active duty men, group, and a lot of them were serving, and a lot of them never came back to to the group. We we did our recon. We did our homework. We all tracked it back with tangible evidence back to the Hitler Youth Women Girls movement. Not movement branch of that Nazi party back then and how they were gonna destroy the ego from within. And then they combined, joined forces with the communists and then combined forces with the, the forces of darkness, you know who I'm talking about. They all united to destroy the ego. I keep saying ego, but we know who, you know, talking about the United States because back then it was a superpower. And the only way to destroy, you can't beat them on the battlefield. So you use Shun Chu the art of war, and you destroy it. Like this right here, capture one or both political parties. Number 15, we have that already. This is already happening. I remember we didn't get no support from the, well, Democrats, forget it. You didn't get no support from them because they already were under the control. But also, too, I say about right now, you maybe got 75% of the Republicans under their control. So we had no, we try, and remember Ronald Reagan, was the one that opened the door in 1969. He had a lot of pressure from a lot of these feminists back then. You know, the one that took the bras out and got attention because other guys said, oh man, let me look. So they, they played it smart and they got into the institution. They controlled the newspapers. They started step by step. They knew this would be a 70 year, a 70 year. And they worked at it for 365 days, seven days a week, 24 hours a day.
and they put their pieces in place in the universities, controlling the newspapers. I mean, we put on pause, key positions, radio, TV, motion pictures. See, they had to take away those pictures from the, during the World War II that a lot of you men back, I'm talking back, I'm like a time machine going back, explaining my, my era. A lot of young boys used to love comic books like that. I got like that. I got back there, right, right there. I got Captain America, the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, the Black Panther, the Ant Man, Spider Man. Back then, my time, the comic books were like twelve cents. And then it became fifteen cents, and then twenty five cents, twenty cents, twenty five cents, thirty cents. And I had them. And, you know, you read them, you tear them up, and then you just, you know, I was stupid not to save them. But when you're that time, you're not thinking about not what you could have been. It, I could have did this. I could have did that. It didn't happen. Getting back to this, because this is important to understand the war that we're in. If you look at some of the other stuff, number 25, you one by one, free speech. This is happening to me right here. Big time. Big time and shadow B. Back then, <laughs> you, you write this down, it'd be like the book uh, 1984. Ah, they're not going gonna to do that. We won't, Congress, we won't permit this. And they did this. The church, they had to just, first they had to destroy, look at the pyramid, the church, and then the man, and then the family. That's the structure from the Old Testament and the New Testament also, even though the, the radical feminists and the women, family is the woman, the mother, loving mother, God, God-fearing mother. We don't have that today. I mean, yes, there's good women because uh, the lady that I showed this battle that we were in, we knew all this stuff. We knew the statistics on men doing themselves in, men being broken by child support. But it was only child support. People being put in jail for 30 years. Men being put in the family courts for 30 years. And we had all that documented for back pay of child support. But they put that title, child support, and they had that media campaign, you know, with the little child hungry, you know, work on the emotions. And they did it well. But behind the curtain of the child support was a welfare repayment, interest rate on the repayment, child support repayment, interest rate repayment, lawyer cost repayment, court cost repayment. And they put all that together. Then they tacked on more interest so the guy could be in bondage. And then they started taking away their rights, their Second Amendment rights. They focused on the Second Amendment. That was to disarm as many men as possible that got into the system. That system alone. This is like a hydra with many, many test arms and, and suction cups. This is not one. It was never about one. Then then two. Then three. We got the divorce courts. They went after the divorce after they destroyed them in the child support to divorce courts. When Reagan did the, the no-fault divorce, opened the door. Ah, we got a victory. And from there, the floodgates. It started this system, that system, that system. They attacked every single system that you could think of. Infiltrated. Destroyed the ego from within. Anything to do with masculinity to be a masculine man. They went after. I mean, they censored us. They, we had people. I don't want to you know, derail. I just want to keep it simple. Not simple, a basic 101 foundation for these young guys. All the old timers back then are gone. There's a handful of us left, but we've been also also destroyed. How they may discredit the family as an institution, encourage, I can't pronounce that word, a e easy divorce. No fault with the, with the media, the propaganda, the movie, education, the, the schools every single level of education from kindergarten all the way to college. And then they had formed women's study groups where they trained them. And men tried to join those groups and we had the news stories back then. The media was a little, i say about 70, 30. But that 30, it gave us a glimpse into their, their strategy, how they were playing the 3D, 4D chess. Because remember, a lot of the fathers back then were military. They had or veterans or active duty or college professors but back then we didn't have that race unity because they separate us like like M Malcolm X told us told us how they that's another story
They separated us. They used the racism card, the hatred, and the groups were separated back then. Back then, I was like the first Latino, Puerto Rican, that went into that group. But I didn't have a college education. A lot of these guys were writing those $20 words. They weren't being blunt like Andrew Tate is today. And I wish we had we had him back then, but we didn't. We don't. You have them now because God gave them to you now. I mean, remember, we didn't have TikTok. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have none of this. We didn't have cell phones. It was the phones back then were your your landline, the the big phones, you know, you see on the, on the History Channel. I mean, this here, giving up Panama Canal, that was Jimmy Carter, 1979, I think it was. I served in Panama for two years. I travel all Central America. There's some things I can't even talk about. Yeah, sign a piece of paper, okay? You know what I mean. Your life is worth a pack of cigarettes. Back then it was 89 cents. So what does that tell you? This, this with the father's group, the men's group, the family group. You got to understand, you see the church now, how it is. And I know a lot about Fatima. I studied Fatima for decades. And I've heard some Father Malachi Martin on Art Bell educating us on those when you truck at nighttime. If you listen to every single word he said, and he spoke the truth. That's why they got rid of him. When he revealed part, a glimpse of the third secret. And next thing you know, he fell down the stairs in his home. A home he's been there for decades, just after the radio show. So you're dealing with forces, so they basically all working together in tandem. Here's the thing, though. Since we're living in the end times, it doesn't take a rocket scientist not to see it. If you don't see it, it's because you don't want to see it. And like Jesus said, they will have eyes, but they'll be, they won't be able to see. They'll have ears, but they won't be able to hear. So many things. But getting back to the father's men's group, the younger people said, where were the father's groups back then? They were, they were being put in jail. They were being destroyed. They were thrown to broken, 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 capital letters. And from A to Z, put in jail. I mean, they took so many, this, this is not even, all this is not, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's no way that I could relay to you younger men, men, family, that, that love your father. I mean, yes, there's bad men, and they use those bad men to magnify, oh, paint the men. Look at, look what he did. And they, oh, oh, the, oh the, they work on the emotion of the women and certain men because all the good men knew that was wrong. We all come off, I came from an abusive, seeing my mother, you know, I know, and a lot of you know too, but they were out there. But the majority of men, your brothers, your sister, I mean, your brother, your uncle, cousin, they were, they were good. I mean, a lot of them, we're all crazy. We all have our crazy. We all, this is, this is a crazy world we live in. But damn, to crucify, it reminds me of the movie Spartacus at the end scene. Where they all crucified all those men on the cross, the, the, what the Romans did. Basically what happened to us. And statistic back then was more available. Not like it is now. Censored. Deleted. In this video right here, which is heavily, heavily, 29 views. It talks about this. The mystery of Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. And I saw the women drunken with the bloods of the saints. Abomination. They had this. It's kind of blurry, it's blurring out. It's had a little surge. And it's been taken out. You know they got, they could go into your, your video and they could edit out like they did with me with the child support. Like this video right here, it says 51 seconds. Originally it was five minutes. Somebody went in there and, and just took it out. They, they took out a lot of information. I didn't edit it, but here, there it is right there, eight minutes. The video was originally eight minutes. Information that was deleted from the video. And there was a law 666, which is the Brady Amendment. They don't hide their numbers. And these are some of the effects. Let's just take the five. And you see, this is just child support. And this was all backed up. Just take five because it's too much. You would think this is all make-believe. High interest on child support and AFDC payment. Debt cannot be raised actively reduced. In other words, they made a law where they, even though the, there's fault, there's errors, still it cannot be reduced. Debts cannot be forgiven. See? Bondage. Judge rights are prohibited from giving fair, just verdicts and determination when mistakes are made. Getting back to that. If you get sick, disabled, and can't work, still no mercy. In other words, 
they have no compassion. You still, the clock still runs, the, the meter still runs. <sighs> Boy, do I just bring back memories. Other numerous added charges, that and other charges. The law forbids bankruptcy. In other words, even though they broke you, you still can't file bankruptcy. Paternity fault debts cannot be forgiven. Even though a, a woman back then and still now, especially more now, where they can have a baby for somebody else and make, and the guy thinks that he's the father, but in reality he's not the father, and then he finds out through a DNA test he wasn't the father, still he has to pay for the sinful act she did in doing the evil of the devil, and she gets rewarded. Regardless, that's a lot. Destroy your credit. Oh, yeah, they destroy your credit. They'll get in there. Instead of you have like a 700 plus with all this stuff, they'll could bring it down to 200, 300. So these these are just small examples. They make you a felon. They make you a felon so you can't avoid. They take away your fishing license. They take away your licenses, your CDL. Let's say you're a truck driver. I've seen this happen. They brand you as a deadbeat even though you're the victim. Even though you get custody. And then you still, because of neglect, abandonment, and you still got to pay all the arrears to child support because they include the welfare, the interest rate, the court costs, six, seven other tack-ons. Even though you got the child, which happened in my case. When I had custody of 14 years old because of mother, I mean, it's so much. They put your picture in the newspaper. They did beat. They take away your passport so you can't leave the country. More drugs on the street. A lot of men turn into gangs. So they're promoting computer problem loss, 600 million when they did an audit back in 2002. There was so much money being made here through social security funds, using social security funds. They steal your money. They make victim joining, you know, in jail. And they, Bush, they, they classify fathers, 3 million fathers as terrorists, domestic ter Fathers fell behind the child support. And this is just the family courts. I'm not including the divorce courts. And these are just a, a list. And if you read one by one, and then they raised the, the last one, I, I remember this back in, what was this done? Back in the early 2000s. And then they raised their child support to age 626 to keep you in bondage. Tell me anything holy about that. None. And this is just child support. And who did the six, who was part of the 666 law? A lot of men, young men, because they, they, they made sure they don't keep, they keep that secret. Who was one of the authors? There's three of them. And I don't know how in the hell that got past Reagan because they did it some bill. So there's so much and there's so, re there's so many reasons why that gap grew almost 10 million gap. No, 5 million here, 6 million here. Just kept on and on and on. See, these, these are things that the Young Bucks, and remember that 666 law, who was the author? There's so much. If we could do the research and hopefully get some information from the, the remaining old timers, because what's coming down the pike is judgment. Take out God, take out family, destroy God, creation, man, which is the pyramid before God, and then below the family, the wife. If the true story was to be told in the true numbers, you would think like a horror movie. If the invasion of the body snatchers took over. Till next time, let Father on.